As a future-ready leader, there are at least two trends that you must recognize and embrace for metaverse success. Curiouser and curiouser, sometimes the best way to explain it is to do it. I'm Patrick Lynch. Let's jump into the verse. First, we have to start out, are you currently embracing digital transformation in your company or in your role? Globally, companies like yours are facing inflection points where data-driven decisions and transformation about how customers are found, serviced, and kept are changing. Digital transformation means creating new seamless customer experiences across sites, systems, and operations. With digital transformations underway, there have been a lot of evolution of corporate roles. Chief analytic officers are now more common, and they're getting others in the organization to jump on board the analytics bandwagon. This enables them to empower others to make better data-driven decisions and impart change. Now that data and digital transformations encompass the metaverse, companies will need to incorporate new additional analytic insights into their strategies. So this is really the second big trend that companies need to be aware of. It really is a merging of big data revolution, changing new kinds of organizational roles for the metaverse revolution. One of those roles is likely to be a metaverse brand manager. Brands will need to embrace multimedia engagement from audio to visual to actions. The Metaverse brand manager will need to focus on continuity across all those channels and touch points to ensure potential and current customers have appropriate experiences. From TV to video to radio podcast, mobile, even wearables and retail experiences will all merge. Immersive AR, VR and XR experiences will become increasingly common. Brands are already doing this like Vans and Nike. Recently, Meta, formerly the company known as Facebook, they posted a job for a director of brand augmented reality and emerging products. This person will work to develop products that are at the intersection of hardware, software, and content. They are already in the midst of collaboration with the fashion company Ray-Ban to develop applications for their stories. In another example, Hanson Robotics, the creator of Sophia the Robot, happens to be the world's most famous humanoid, according to them. They recently sought brand ambassadors that would raise awareness about the Sophiaverse, which will help humanity create artificial intelligence that's beneficial for all. At least that's what they're hoping. This is a glimpse of new organizational roles that are to come, a blend of strategist, researcher, and champion. During the recent NFL championship game in the United States, Coinbase nearly broke the internet when it displayed a bouncing QR code that directed people to their website. In an instant, the brand bridged mass media television, advertising, to mobile commerce, to the internet itself. While successful in terms of traffic, Coinbase might have done even more by bridging it to the metaverse by including some volumetric capture avatars as part of the promotion. For example, I'll provide a link to mine recently captured at the Thunderbird School of Global Management. This sort of marks new ways that brands will need to engage customers and maybe drive new kinds of omni-channel experiences. So I'm interested, are you yourself preparing for these new roles or is your company changing the way that they're going to market with strategies to adopt metaverse commerce? Well, how are you preparing to maybe upskill or reskill yourself to partake in some of these emerging roles? Let me know your thoughts below so we can continue the conversation. And until next time, this is Patrick Lynch, and I'll see you in the verse.